this variety of problems that is divisible by k problems under design of DFA. So, first problem we will see here is build a DFA for the following language where L is given by W, W interpreted in binary as divisible by 3. So here your sigma is nothing but binary alphabet which indicates this alphabet is 0, 1 or this problem could be also asked like construct a DFA which accepts all strings of zeros and 1s where the value of each string represented as a binary number. Only the strings representing 0 modulo 3 should be accepted. Example 0, 3, 6, 9, only these strings which are multiples of 3 when represented in binary, they only should be accepted. So, for such kind of problem, first you have to identify what is your sigma. So, sigma is here, since it is a binary, the alphabets are 0 and 1. And now, since it is modulo 3, this is divisible by 3. So, the set of states will be q0 representing the remainder is 0, q1 representing the remainder is 1, rep q2 representing the remainder as 2. So, these are the set of states. Next is identifying the final state. So, final state since it is modulo 3, it has to be giving the remainder as 0. So, q0 is the state which represents the remainder 0. So, final state is q0. So, since your alphabets are 2 and the set of states are 3, so what you do is you can write down the starting 6 binary numbers. So, 0, 0, 0 and when you take modulo, the remainder is 0, then 0, 0, 1, the remainder is 1, when you take the division by 3, the remainder is 1, then 0, 1, 0, which is 2, the remainder is 2, then 0, 1, it is 3, 3 more 3 is reminder 0, then 1, 0, 0, it is 4, 4 more 3 is 1, reminder is 1, then 1, 0, 1. So, these are my starting 6 numbers and their reminders when it is divided, divided by 3. Now you write down the start state as q0. One. All the three states you can list down and q2. And my final state is q0 itself because the remainder has to be 0. Now, 0, 0, 0, the remainder is 0. So, machine after reading any number of zeros, it should be in the q0 state stating the remainder is 0. Next, if you are having any number of zeros followed by 1, then it has to give the remainder 1. So, the state representing is q1. So, on 1, from q0 go to the state q1. Next, after 1, if you have 0, the number becomes 2 and the remainder is 2. So, it should go to the state q2. Next, 0, 1, 0 is over. 0, 1, 1. So, the remainder is 0. So, 0, 1, 1. So, it should go back to the start state on 1. Next, 1, 0, 0. So, 1, 0, 0. The remainder is 1.
Next, 101, 101, the remainder is 2, so it should say stay in the Q2 state on 1. So this is the required machine. So if you check the valid numbers, so 0, 0, 0, so here it will be then 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, it is accepted. 0, 0, 1, it will not accept. 0, 0, 1, it will not accept. So likewise, this is the machine for the required problem. Next is design a DFA for the following language where L is equal to W. W interpreted in reverse as a binary is divisible by 3. So this is same as the previous problem. But the thing is, it has to read if you interpret in the reverse order. So what you can do here is for the same machine, so you keep the start state, final state, everything same. Only the direction of the machine you can change. Only the direction of the edges will change. So the machine will be the start state will be the same. Then Q1 then Q2 self loops doesn't change and the final state will also remain the same. So here this is on zero. And for Q2 It is a self loop on 1 and previously from Q0 to Q1 we had transition on 1 that edge we change the direction so this becomes ulta and from Q1 we had a transition to Q0 on 1 so now this again I will change the direction. The alphabet remains the same. And next year you had a transition from Q1 to Q2 on 0. So now I change the direction. So this is on 0. And here you had Q2 to Q1. So now I will have Q1 to Q2. And the transition will check the ulta direction. So this is a required machine. So if you observe 0, 0 should be accepted. So 0, 0, 0 is accepted. 1, 1, 0 is accepted. 0, 1, 1 should be accepted. 0, 1, 1 should be accepted. So you can check all the remaining strings which are accepted. So it will be accepted by this DFA. Next is construct a DFA which accepts all the decimal strings divisible by 3. That means only representing 0 modulo 3 should be accepted. So here your sigma is all the decimal digits from 0 to 9. Zero to 9 and uh, Q will be the set of states will be depending on modulo k value that is k here in this case is 3. So you will have q0, q1, q2 as the states. q0, q1 and q2 are the states. So now here every state will be having nine tra 10 transitions. So Q0, 1 and Q2. Since it is to be accepted is the modulo reminder should be 0. So then start state itself becomes the final state. So any number of zeros, the divide, reminder when divided by 3 is 0, so it is 0. So if it is 1, the reminder is 1. If 
it is 2 the remainder is 2 if it is 3 the remainder is 0 again if it is 4 the remainder is 1 5 the remainder is 2 so what you can observe here is for every alphabet with the increment of 3 so the same transition will occur so here you have 0 3 6 and 9 now here 1 4 7 here 2 5 and 8 so for q0 we had completed all the 10 transition now for q1 so for q1 you are coming with the minimum value of 1 so 1 means the remainder is 1 so 1 0 means 10 so 10 mod 3 is 1 so the remainder is 1 so it has to stay in the state q1 so 1 0 again it is multiple of 3 so 0 3 6 9 it is 1 3 divided by 3 remainder is 1 1 6 that is 16 divided by 3 if you do remainder is 1 1 9 also remainder is 1 next 1 2 is nothing but 12 so 12 is divisible by 3 the remainder is 0 so on 1 4 7 it should go back to q0 so 1 4 and 7. Next, 1, one two. Yeah, it is not 1, 4, 7, it is 2, 5, 8, 2, 5, eight. Next, 1, 1 is 11, so the remainder is 2, so it should go to Q2 state. This one, 1, 4, until this 2 digit number is accepted properly. Next, 3 digit number, 1, 1, 0, so it is 1, 10, so 1, 10, when you divide by 3, the remainder is 2. So, the remainder is 2. So, for Q2, 1, 0, 3, 6, 9, the remainder is 2. Next, 1, 1, 1. So, the remainder is 0. So, it should go back to the start state. So, 1, 1, 1. So, this is 1, 4 and 7. Next, 1, 1, 2. So, 1, 1, 2. So, the reminder is 1 so it should go back to the q1 state on 2 5 8 so this is a required dfa thank you